Look, I just want to come on here and just... I got to keep it real with everybody as usual because I don't see really anybody saying what I'm about to say, okay? Now, this whole Family Guy Nipsey Hustle thing kind of like aggravated me so much for me to make a video talking about it. Now, uh, what they did was Family Guy, they made a joke about Nipsey Hustle. They said Nipsey Hustle, they're going to make a, a, a hologram about him, even though they don't know who he is. And I'm saying to myself, like, okay, so what? And then I'm seeing people crying about it, all up in arms, so pissed off, triggered, or butthurt, or being sensitive little snowflakes, or whatever. And I'm like, you know, they're crying about, oh, fuck you, family guy, family guy ain't shit. How dare you make fun of Nipsey Hussle and all this, and two things, right? Two things. One, have do you know anything about Seth MacFarlane? This man has made jokes about anything and everything. He's a comedian. He's supposed to make you laugh. If you're getting mad at jokes, then that means there's something wrong with you. I can understand if a joke is like in poor taste, but usually a good joke, even if it's not, uh, you know, what's that called? It's not supposed to be politically correct. It's not politically correct. There we go. Um, it's supposed to make you laugh. Like, oh damn, woo hoo! It's that's a joke. Whoa. You're not supposed to take a comedian's word seriously. A comedian is there to make you laugh, not to anger you, not to piss you off. It's supposed to make you laugh. If you're having a bad day, you laugh at some jokes, okay? A lot of people made some offensive jokes besides Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane made jokes about everything and anything. It didn't matter what it was. He did it on Family Guy, American Dad, and on Cleveland Brown Show. Those three shows that he made, he made jokes that were way more offensive than the one they did with Nipsey Hussle. Now, number two, I want to say this. And I know there's going to be some people that's going to get really pissed off. They're going to get so butthurt, angry, whatever. Or unsubscribe, leave me negative comments, and, you know, thumb down the video because, you know, that really hurts my feelings. Nip Nipsey Hussle was not a big mega star. Let let's be real. Nipsey Hussle was not a superstar his music was never playing on the radio on tv he never won any awards he was never really highly promoted even on the internet so like is family guy really telling lies here when because before he died nobody really was listening to this guy's music but then he dies now people want to act like Nipsey Hussle is a legend, he's the greatest of all time, he's an icon, he changed the landscape of music and hip hop together. What did he do that was so legendary? What music that he made that put him out there as this big megastar? What put him out there as a potential legend, a legendary figure? I hate when so many people come out of the woodworks when somebody dies all these phony balonies come out and want to pretend that they love the, the, you know, like one of the members of the Migos passed away, I think last year, right? In 2022. Now, people are acting like the Migos were legendary. I had to see tweets on Twitter talking about how great one of the members of the Migos were. And the Migos were so special. They were such a great legendary musical group and all that. Uh, you know, these guys are great, a uh, great musical artist group trio or whatever. The, the Migos were shit, okay? It's sad that the guy died like that in a bowling alley. He got shot and killed. Just like it's pretty bad and sad that Nipsey died in front of his own fiance and his own daughter, in front of his own store and in front of his own customers and fans. Got shot and killed like a dog. Got shot down like a dog. But that's what it takes for people to actually start caring about Nipsey Hussle. In fact, I'm not even bashing Nipsey Hussle. I'm bashing all you phony ass baloney fucking retards out there. Talk about, he's better than Tupac. Biggie Smalls is nothing compared to Nipsey. 
Hey, I, I got his t-shirt. He's the greatest of all time, guy. Look at me. Nipsey for life. Nipsey Hustle is the greatest. He's better than Jimi Hendrix. He's a great black musical artist. BT, yeah, we're gonna sit there and promote his 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 uh his music and stuff when when before he died he, before he died, you never cared about the man's music. You never played not one music video from this guy. Apparently, he's been rapping since like the 2000s. Where was 106 and Park at? Where was Rap City Basement at? Where were these guys at? Of, 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 of you know, of BET or MTV or whatever, or VH1. Where were these people at to go promote Nipsey Hussle? Since you guys want to sit there and claim that Nipsey Hussle was a one-of-a-kind rapper, he was an awesome guy, and no one was different, like more different than Nipsey, and Nipsey was the truest, he was the realest. And I listened to the, his music, and honestly, I'm gonna be real. His music is okay at best. It's it's solid. It, it's nothing like his rhymes, his cadence, his flow. It's okay. It's not the best I've ever heard. I've heard better rappers that are still alive today that goes harder than Nipsey Hussle. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Just again, just because a musical artist dies or anybody who dies for that matter, he dies or she dies or whoever dies. That doesn't mean you got to sit there and pretend to love these people. If you were never fans of them, then why pretend to be fans of them when now they're dead? That makes you so fake. That makes you such an asshole. To me, I think that's such an asshole thing to do. Because you're going to sit there and act like you love this these people when they you never cared about them? Hell, you never even knew who they were. Now you're going to sit there and pretend that you were big fans? I was always a big fan of Nipsey. Yeah, I know everything about Nipsey because I looked it up on Wikipedia because I'm so special. No, you're nothing special. You're a complete dumbass. You're a complete douchebag. I just don't understand why are people so mad at Family Guy because they told the truth about Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle was not the best rapper out. He was never the most known. He was not the highest paid. He never changed anything in hip hop or music in general. Nobody really knew who he was except what? Snoop Dogg and a couple other West Coast rappers. And see, even some Nipsey Hussle fans were like, yeah, well, Nipsey was never really that big of a star. That's just the facts. Stop acting like you guys love this guy so much when you never cared about him. You want to be a fan of him? Good. Okay, fine. But don't go around and pretending that you love Nipsey Hussle when you don't, okay? So what he knew Snoop Dogg. And speaking about Snoop Dogg, I want to, you know, do a little review. It's not going to be much of a review, but just look. Um, because this guy right here knew who he was, Snoop Dogg. He did, um things with them now the reason why i'm showing you this because well this is a music channel and it's like somebody gave this to me and like oh snoop i got his own little you know thing rap snacks i don't know i've seen this at walmart i've seen this one somebody gave me this one and another one with rick ross on it i don't even fucking like rick ross as a rapper i think he sucks ho ho double mg fucking lame but i just want to do a quick little review of this just for fun. I never had this before. So I'm gonna eat this. I don't know, what what's this? OG barbecue cheddar, Snoop Dogg flavor. Let me eat this. Okay, so that's it for the whole me eating Snoop Dogg's chips. They're okay. You know, they kind of taste like wise potato chips a little bit. So all this whole Nipsey Hustle getting mad at Family Guy thing, it's ridiculous. Stop. Stop. Cut it out. Cut that shit out. Because as much as you want to admit it up to it or not, Nipsey Hussle was never a big megastar. He was never a legend. He's not an icon. I'm sorry, he's just not. Um, and come on. Family Guy has been known for doing way more worse jokes than the one they did for Nipsey Hussle. So that's the summary of the video. I'm done here. Um, you guys want to get mad, get mad, unsub, hey, I don't give a flying fuck, because my ass is never going to become big on this stupid-ass website, okay? I'll get more screwed over than get, you know, put over.